Hi! Welcome back to my channel. It's been not as long as it was in the last video, but it's still been a couple weeks. And I'm back. Alright, so today I have a huge haul video, which is really exciting because literally, like, who doesn't like a haul video, first of all? Second of all, I've never done one on my channel, so, like, I'm just like, ah, it should be fun! And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for clicking on this video. And my name is Skylar. If you don't know who I am, hi and thank you. So I'm going to start with dresses. I only have two dresses and they're both from Forever 21. The first dress is just a plain gray dress, body dress, body bodycon dress. And um, I just didn't have anything really like that. And I thought it would be really great for summer. It looked like this. Yeah, I really like the way this is. It's just a bodycon dress, honestly. It's nothing crazy. I got this in a size large, and this one's from Forever 21. Um, I really like this dress. Like, my one thing is that a lot of brands now, actually not now, they've always been doing this. A lot of brands, I feel like, do not make clothes for every body type, which really, really bothers me. So I'm just saying if you're watching this and you try something on or, like, you feel say you try something on in your size but it doesn't fit you I just want you to know that it's the clothes fault and not your fault because I've had those struggles where I'm like why why like I need to change myself but no you need to change the clothes it's because the brand doesn't know how to make clothes for you that's the problem that's the tea and I'm really just tired of it but hey that's just the tea the next dress I got is also from Forever 21 and I really like this a lot um I don't know, like, I'm about to be cutting up in this dress. So I apologize for the wrinkles in this dress, but it's very cute. So you'll see in the try-on, but I'm just showing you right now what this looks like. I really like this a lot. It has the scrunch on the side, which I think is really unique and cool. So you can kind of, like, make it longer and make it shorter. And it's fun. Like, I don't know. A lot of the stuff that I bought for in this haul was not very colorful because I'm trying to keep with neutrals and basics so that I can match with other clothes that I already have but that was like a little fun piece that I wanted to do. The next thing I'm gonna do is skirts. I have two skirts and they're the same skirt just in different colors but I really 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 recommend these skirts. Okay so these are from Free People. They were on sale for $25 and I got like an extra an additional discount off them so they ended up being a really really good deal and if you know free people, you know their products are pricey, as I'll get out. But they usually have quality items, so I was really happy about these purchases. Again, I apologize for the wrinkles. Like, I'm just so, I'm just not that organized. But this is just a black skirt, and it's a midi skirt. It's really long. Look how wrinkled that is. I'm so sorry. But there's a slit in the front. The other one is not as wrinkled. And when I first got... The, the, I got I ordered this one first and then I got the gray one that I'm about to show. When I first got it, it looked so tiny and I was like, I don't know if that's going to work. But the material is so, it just, like, it is so comfortable and it forms to your body. So flattering on my body type, which I find a lot of skirts like this aren't and a lot of dresses like this aren't. So really would recommend this it's so cute it's just ribbed and i love the little slit in the front just like a little flavor and i can i'm literally going to live in this during the summer like for real all right the other one i got in gray oh my goodness like these are just i really really like this these skirts a lot if i were to recommend like anything in this haul it would probably be these skirts they are so soft and so comfortable I forgot to mention that I got both of these skirts in a medium. That's what I needed to say. Okay, now we're going to do shorts. I got three pairs of shorts. I got one pair of denim shorts, and they're Levi's, and I also got these from Belk. And they just look like this. And they're just basic essential pair. Go with everything. Um, they're not completely white. They're off-white. Yeah, I'm really excited to wear these, and I got these in a, th I think I got these in a 32. Yeah, I got these in a 32. Okay, the next two pair of shorts I got are just like little cloth athletic shorts, and I've been wanting some shorts like this for a while just because like you can just throw them on in the summer, 
And I don't really like Nike shorts, like I just, I don't think those are cute anymore. Honestly, I, I don't think I ever did. I think I just wore them because everybody else wore them. But I think these are really cute and they're very versatile. And so they're just these little athletic shorts and these are from H&M. I really, really like these a lot. I got these in a medium, which is actually surprising because I think the H&M stuff runs really, really small. And most of the time I can't find bottoms there that fit me at all. But these actually ran big. I picked these up and I thought they were a large, but they're actually a medium. But they're just super cute and they go with everything and they have little pockets. So that's another bonus. And then also I pretty much got the same shorts but in white. And But these are from Forever 21. And they look like this. They're essentially the same. The only difference excuse me the only difference really with these is that they don't have the drawstring the H&M ones do but same deal super cute I imagine myself wearing these shorts with an all-white fit and that is just amazing to me I got these in a large and these run true to size which is very good because also I think Forever 21 does a really poor job of sizing as well. A lot of their stuff runs small, specifically their bottoms. So I was very happy that those fit. And black and white shorts, like what can you, what can you go out with that? You know what I'm saying? Okay, the next thing which, oh, I'm excited about is I have so many graphic t-shirts. It is absolutely ridiculous, but... We all know that biker shorts are the thing right now. If you don't know, now you know. And like I have some graphic t-shirts, some t-shirts that I wear with my biker shorts now. But I was like, bro, I really, this is what I'm going to live in during the summer. So I might as well invest in some t-shirts that will go with it. Okay, so all of these are from Belk. But I will try to link everything if I can find it. But I have seven graphic t-shirts that I bought from there. So I got this shirt, and it's a Metallica shirt. It's gray, and it has purple and blue, and obviously the Metallica logo. And underneath it, it says, Master of Puppets. I got something on it, and then I put stain remover, so you're probably like, what is that? I got all of the graphic t-shirts. I got an extra large, and they're all men's shirts as well. Okay, <clears throat> the next one. This next one, it has Ice Cube on it from Boys in the Hood. And I just thought it was really cool. Ice Cube is one badass, badass dude. So, I don't know. I really like the image. I like black shirts, black t-shirts a lot. And I like the blue in it because I have these shoes that pretty much match exactly that blue. Alright, the next one is Snoop Dogg. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And I like Snoop Dogg as well. And I like the letters and the red and the gray. Just a little fun moment. I feel like I'm not being descriptive enough, but I don't really know what else to say. Like, it's just a cute shirt. <laughs> I don't know. This one is probably my favorite. Um, it's another Metallica shirt. Like I said, I don't know any of the songs, so please don't. Please don't come for me. It just says Metallica, and it says... What does it say right there? It says... Injustice for All. I really, really like the black. I like black and red, and I like black and red together. So that kind of sold me on this shirt, and I also really like the artwork on it. Alright, the next one, I don't, this is probably my least favorite out of all of them, just because, I don't know, it looked a lot different in the photo, but it's still really comfortable. And they're all really cheap, so I just kept them. But it's a Grateful Dead shirt. But it's just a navy blue and it has their famous bears walking and then Grateful Dead underneath. But it's cute, it's comfortable. Not my favorite, but I will still wear it for sure. Next I have a Journey shirt. And this one is white. And it just says Journey and it has their real logo and it says Infinity. I feel like I, it's hard to explain like why I bought this stuff, I just, I don't know, I liked it, and it's really cute, and I know that I'll wear it because it's comfortable. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, this last one I do have a lot to say because it's my favorite shirt that I bought out of the graphic t-shirts. I knew I needed this shirt, okay? I, first of all, I love streetwear. I love when streetwear is combined with artwork. That 
is everything to me, okay? I don't know why. It just, that just really floats my boat for some reason. And that's why I like that Metallica shirt. <laughs> this shirt, whoa. I waited so long to buy this and I'm so happy with the quality, everything, just everything about this shirt. Oh, bro. It's a Nike shirt and this, it feels like such a nice shirt. Like the other ones, they feel like they're nice shirts as well, but this one actually like feels quality in my opinion just it just looks so beautiful to me the white is like white white just bright white which is what i freaking love but it is just as plain it's a white shirt and then in the center it has this graphic of um i don't know i need to look up what the name of the painting is but it's the hands that are reaching out for each other it's a painting inside the sistine chapel and it's really cool because in the middle they put the nike shoe box i love this painting just in general so it's really great that they combined it with nike and i love i'm a hoe for nike so i will wear the hell out of this i love it all right and we're gonna move on to our last category which is um tops Alright, so the first, I'll show both of these kind of at the same time. I went to PacSun. These are from PacSun, and I got two of just the ribbed uh, tube tops, which I didn't really think I needed them, but now that I have them, I'm like, why didn't I get these before? They just go with everything. Like, I don't know. You don't have to wear a bra with them, which is what I really live for in the summer because I hate wearing bras. Quality, you know, holds you in, sucks you in, everything's great. I got these in a size medium, and yeah, I can't really complain about that. I also got the same one in white. It was buy one, get one. So I was like, might as well go ahead and do it. Then the next thing I got from PacSun was just this little white tank top, and I mean, there's not really much to say about this. This is in a size medium slash large. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Brandy Melville. Pretty sure. But I just, I've always wanted a shirt like this. And it ended up being only $5. So I was just went ahead and got it. But I really like the way this looks. And I'm going to wear this so much during the summer. Then I'm going to go to Urban Outfitters shirt. I got this one actually a while ago. But I haven't worn it. So I'm going to show it anyway because I really like it. The only complaint I have with this is that it has uh, little clasps on the front and they really stay coming undone. You're going to see in the try on, but it looks like this and it's very, very cute. I really like this style of top that's very just like elegant, girly. I really, really switch between dressing like a tomboy and dressing like a very feminine girl. Like this shirt is very feminine and very just like elegant I don't know what it is like it's the material is very like soft and set I think it's sateen I don't really know but this is Urban Outfitters and I got this in a large I really like this shirt a lot a lot a lot a lot this next top I saw it and I didn't really think that I needed it until I tried it on but it just looks like this it's just a little spaghetti strap tank top with a little sweetheart neck and a little ruche at the tatas and I really enjoy this so much just looking at this I was just kind of like I'll try it on because it's cute but like it looks so good on and it really like sucks you in and like the ruching and the little sweetheart neckline really accentuates the stuff you want to accentuate and again you don't have to wear a bra with this need I say more this last shirt is probably my favorite that I got from Urban. Um, there we go. It's just a tube top and um, it's nothing crazy except for in the middle it has this like late, I mean, uh, string detail that laces up and that's really what did it for me. Like, bro, this shirt sucks you in and just like, I. It's amazing. Absolutely, I'm so glad I bought this. Like, 
gifts. It be it really be the things you don't think we're gonna like do anything off the hanger, but you put them on and it's like, whoa, okay, sis. But it's the perfect length of a tube top. Like it's not too short, but it's not too long. So you can wear high waist. You can wear something that's not as high waist. Like it's just, it's everything to me, and it makes me look real good. All right. Last thing I got from Urban is another little black top. I am very aware that all of these shirts that I'm showing you right... Oh wait, I have two more. I am aware that all the shirts that I bought from Urban Outfitters are black crop tops. And I'm not sorry about it. Here's another one. This is really cute. Um, it looks kind of like a grandma shirt. I don't know why to me, but it's very, very flattering on. And I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. It satisfies my little um, one shoulder trend that I love live for. And, oh, I have it fucking backwards. That's great. <laughs> this is what it really looks like. But it's just really cute. And it was on sale, so got a good deal on it. But, yeah, really, really like this a lot. Can't wait to wear this. I, I know I keep saying I really like this a lot. I apologize. The last shirt. All of these shirts that I got from Urban, I'm realizing, except for the first one, I was like, mm, this probably won't look that good on. And then I tried it on and I was like, Whoa, well, dang. This is just a little off the shoulder top. Nothing crazy, but very cute, very flattering. The material is good because you don't have to wear a bra with it. How many times am I going to say that? This one's a large. This one's true to size. Really like this a lot. It's just simple, basic, off the shoulder top. But it goes with everything and that's really what I need in my closet anyway. Okay, so that's all I got from Urban Outfitters. Almost second to last is Forever 21 again. This is the first one. I like this a lot on, I mean, um, off the hanger, but it looks a little weird on me, I think. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or not. It's really cute. I really like the color. Purple is one of my favorite colors to wear just because this, this color purple is just, I just think it's so beautiful and so feminine. It has two little spaghetti straps there and they go into the ruching on the shirt right here and you can tie them up or you can leave them hanging you can do whatever you want it's just a simple little fun crop top with some ruching this is a large as well all right this next one is one of the only other colors that i mean the only other things i got in this haul that has some color but it's just one of those ruched tops and it's cheetah I really like the cheetahs coming back, I'm not even going to lie. I really live for the cheetahs, so that's good. This is just really fun and fresh, little pop of something something for the summer that I really like. This one's a large, and this one was only $8, so honestly, like, that's another reason why I bought it, because it was $8. The next shirt is a white... Oh, I really like this shirt a lot. So I saw one of a shirt like this very similar on Urban Outfitters and I wanted it, but I also didn't want to pay the price for the Urban Outfitters shirt, so I found one very similar on Forever 21, and it just has ruching on the front and on the back, like that. And I really, like I said a million times in this video, I really like white shirts. I think they are so flattering on me personally and they go with everything and I have a lot of white shoes or shoes that have white in it and so that's basically why I bought this the white shirt the one problem I have with white shirts like these is that it's very hard to find a white top like this that you don't have to wear a bra with because you can see the, through the material which I was like kind of pressed about when I bought the shirt. I was hoping that you wouldn't be able to see it, but you can. If you don't know, now you know. I love Bella Hadid. Like, absolutely love her. So this, this last shirt that I got from Forever 21, I bought solely because last year, okay, first of all, let me give you the whole backstory. There's this photo of Bella Hadid. I'll put it here. And she is wearing this shirt. I'm pretty sure it's Chrome Hearts, which is her little Bestie Boos brand that she has, Jessie Jo Stark. But it is just this white crop top that has, like, it's just beautiful. And I really, really love the outfit she wore. It's just, like, it's simple, but it's just, that's just my style. Like, 
I really fuck with that. If you know me, you know I love Bella Hadid. Like, for real, for real. Like, and I've been wanting a shirt like that one since I saw it last summer, but, like, I could not find one anywhere. And I was on Forever 21. I found one pretty similar, except this one's long sleeve. And it, ooh, like, it doesn't really do justice, like, not on the body. But you'll see in the try-on, it's just a long sleeve white shirt, crop top. And it's very, very cropped. It's, like, right underneath your bust. And it's got a little ruchy ruch to make you... Your boobies look good and um like I said Bella Hadid basically made me do that and I meant to say that all of the Forever 21 shirts that I bought were in a size large in case you were wondering and all of them I think are pretty true to size this one is also a large but absolutely die for this shirt um, okay and the last shirt that I bought this is the last thing of this long clothing haul. This is one of my favorite shirts that I bought. This is the last colorful item that I purchased and I'm so, so happy with it. This is from Free People. This is the most expensive shirt that I probably bought out of this whole haul. I usually keep things pretty reasonably priced but this one was really expensive even with the discounts that I got. It is this Free People shirt and it looks like this. It is absolutely gorgeous to me. It, it's like, reminds me so much of like Tinkerbell, but modern day bad bitch and a little bustier crop top. This is the type of shirt that I'm talking about that I really love. It's a very feminine, very elegant and girly. And I just, that just really, really, really does something for me. This is in a size um, medium. It's a little tight, but I think the large would be too big, but it sucks you in really well. I like the very feminine detail right here across the shoulder. Yes, this is what the back looks like. It's got the little stretchy part right here. And the material is nice. I know the shirt will last me a long time, so I'm kind of okay with the price that I paid because it's very beautiful and I know it's quality. And the pattern is they're white flowers and they're outlined with brown. I don't know if you can really see that well. And one thing that really got me excited about buying this shirt is that I have these pair of shoes that I'm about to show you that are this color, but they match this shirt almost perfectly. Um, so that is a fit on its own. I, but the fact that I ordered it online, didn't even think twice about it being the same color as my shoes, got them in and bitch, need I say more? Alright guys, that concludes this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a long one. Bye everybody. I had fun. <sighs> if you know that reference, I fuck with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this massive summer clothing haul, which is probably what I titled this video. But I hope you had fun living through me, because that's what I do when I watch other people's hauls. I live through them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much, and I will catch you next time.